Hey everybody, what's up? Jason's here. Good to see you again. Today, let's talk about how to make use of App Center with Yaystar S Series VoIP PBX. App Center is just like an App Store or a Google Play to our cell phone. It is designed to extend features for S Series PBX. It contains some self-developed applications from Yaystar, as well as intermediate software for third-party integration, which allows our PBX to interact with other platforms and systems like property management system and call center kit, which will significantly improve the efficiency of our work. All these apps are working independently from the main framework. Some of them are free to download, while some are not. We could basically choose and download the ones we need. By the way, it is totally available to upgrade them whenever we need or to uninstall them without having any modification on our firmware. Now, guess we've got a general view over all apps that we have. And in following episodes, we will introduce several apps which are very important to us, including all details about what they can do and how we can configure them. So, don't forget to subscribe the channel, watch the followings, and if you guys want a further discussion about some specific apps, or if you have any idea about new apps you want to obtain, just leave a comment. Let us know what you're thinking. All right, let's get to today's episode. Remote working is a big deal nowadays. We would always want to be in touch with our telephone system, such as at home, during a commute, in travel, or even during holiday. Okay, maybe not a holiday. Anyway, we have Linka's mobile app, which turns our smartphones into mobile clients to our PBX system. Our mobile phone will not only work as a software phone, but also enable us to check the status of other extensions, check our voicemail and recording, and even hold a conference call. If you're interested in this link, click here, check the video. Speaking of the conference call, in the office, when we hold an audio conference, don't you feel tired of managing the conference by dialing features code? It is so annoying, you have to carefully write them down on the paper because they're just too hard to memorize. Well now, Conference Panel comes to help. With this application, we're able to use Graphical Conference Management Panel through which we can manage the conference call by simply clicking on our computer. Except for these telephone features, we can also find other applications to extend PBX features. On the one hand, we have middlewares integrating our telephone system and the third-party systems. Qmetrics Live Integration makes Qmetrics Asterisk Call Center suit run perfectly on Asterisk PBX. We're able to have an on-cloud call center running with our VoIP telephone system. Char, as a hotel middleware, provides an interface to connect to Asterisk PBX and property management system. We up call, check in, and check out as well as billing features in PMS, integrates well with S-Series products. We could also configure WCAP call and define an extension as a room or office phone via PBX Web GUI. On the other hand, we can access applications which function as other systems together with our telephone system. Hotel app provides the basic functions for small and medium hotels, such as check-in, check-out, booking, Room Management VPN Server app will enable our PBX to work as a VPN server for the whole telephone system. Other devices like IP phone, gateway, soft phone, and even other PBXs can register to it as a VPN clients, which assures system security and improves stability. While the VPN server is only for the telephone system, only audios will be allowed to go through. So, we will still need a router to build up our own network. The S-Series PBX cannot work as a router. Auto provisioning helps to provision IP phones in bulk at the same time, saving time to configure IP phones one by one. Major brands IP phones in the global markets are compatible with S-Series PBX. It is installed by default. As an independent app, we can upgrade it separately without having any modification of the firmware. In other words, every time we support a new model of IP phone, just upgrade the app, 
the firmware that already runs perfectly for us will remain untouched. Then, we have LDAP server. If we need to share phone books among all IP phones and realize centralized management of phone books simultaneously, we can upload our phone book through this app. Once LDAP has been enabled in IP phones, we will be able to search for contacts information directly over phones. No need to download phone books into phones. Check our next video for LDAP setup if you want more detailed information. These are all applications in Azure's PBX. If our facilities have access to the Internet, we can easily read details of all applications, download and upgrade them. Okay guys, that's all we can get in App Center on Azure's PBX now, and we're going to develop more applications to accelerate enterprise communications. If you're interested to know more about our apps, don't forget to subscribe our channel. We're going to have more videos talking about these apps one by one soon. For more A-Star updates, just follow us on these social media. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one.